Hey, colors out there. This is Nathan. Uh, just figured I'd switch it up for a little bit. Uh, I'm all caught up on all my deadlines and stuff like that, so I figured, you know, I just color a piece for fun. Um, I was reading through uh, before, you know, the past week or so, the the Art of uh, Todd McFarlane book. came across this uh, Wolverine piece. So I actually tracked down the uh, the black and white of it. I figured I'd uh, give it a color, um, have some fun with it. I, the piece is old. I mean, I can't remember... Uh, probably like 92, 93, I guess. Uh, I have no idea what the colors look like on it. Um, so we're just going to have fun, do some coloring. I'll probably have to cut this up into a uh, couple episodes. I don't want the videos to be, to be too long. And, um, yeah, I'll try and talk as much as I can, uh, try and fill up some space. So I'll go ahead and get started. I think... Uh, well, let me show you the, let me show you guys this real quick. Uh, let me get a new window going. Uh, drag this over. Let's see favorites. This is a website. Uh, not sure how you pronounce it. Cooler or is if it's actually color, but it's k u l e r dot adobe dot com. That's great for the uh, um, the color wheel and everything like that. I use this site. Often when I'm having trouble picking up color schemes and, and whatnot, uh, so I just want to find something interesting to go with the uh, orange and browns of uh, Wolverine's outfit. Uh, there's a couple different ways we could use this site. Uh, let's see, maybe we'll try like complementary colors. So we'll pick. Uh, let's see this one. That's about that color. Not that it's the base. I'm gonna say like you know, this aqua color would look really good. Probably set it apart. Hmm. I try get some blues and some greens in there. Uh, no. This I really like this magenta color. Let's try that out. Let's see how that works. I'll do that on the sky. I'll go from a uh, purple to it, I guess. Make sure I got a soft brush. Oh yeah. So I can set them off against that. It's nice. Let's kind of lighten it up as it gets uh, towards the bottom here. Mm-hmm. I'm liking that. Darken that a little bit more. Go in. Let's see. It's Do some quick clouds in here. Usually when I start a uh, pinup, I'll have a basic idea of how I want it to look. I think a lot of that comes from uh, working with markers before in the past, when I first started coloring. There's no one, there's no one to 
with that stuff. So you pretty much have to have an idea of what you want ahead of time. So it's great, uh, great training for me. I'll come up here and break that up. I think that'll make it look interesting. Let's write them on a different layer. All right. Some of these lines get a little bit confusing. Yeah, I'll just make that cloud as well.
guess I could have taken care of this ahead of time when I was doing the flats. I wasn't sure, quite sure what I wanted to do with them at that point. Yeah, I'm just taking that white layer and just lowering the opacity on it. It's down to 20% right now. Just trying to see how that looks. In a second, I'll try a different, different layer modes. Maybe go with like an overlay or something. I'll brighten up the colors a little bit more. Instead of just uh, just brightening them a little bit, give a little bit of punch. Looking good. All right, finally got that done. Let's see, let's try that overlay. Hmm, eh. yeah, it doesn't really work too well. Lower the opacity on it. Let's try an overlay. I want to try it with a gradient. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. 
I'll try that out in a minute. Yeah, I like that. We'll maybe uh, lock the layer and we'll fill it with a different color. And screen. That's too much. I like that orange color in there. Let me just brighten that up a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. All right, get rid of that top layer now. Have our sky. Let's merge that down. And then we'll knock out the colors. So I'll create a clipping mask on top of my line art layer. Uh, let's start the dark color. I'm just gonna go with my pencil brush. Oops. And I'll speed it up. I'll just do my lasso tool. So I need to almost out of time for this episode.
Uh, almost done, almost done. Oops. Try not to worry too much about the straight pixels. Plus, I have to re remind myself that because a lot of times I'll s spend too much time on them, and then I mean, totally knowing the whole time, nobody's ever going to see that. And uh, trying to get better at it, still after almost 20 years coloring. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and adjust our colors on that. I'll lock that layer. Fill it with a pinkish color. So whether it looks nicer down here. Darken it a little bit. Let's see. Get a little bit of a gradient going on in there. I'll darken that up for this part. The very top here. Well, that looks pretty good. And we'll go ahead and take care of this part and back on the buildings and stuff like that. I think we'll just keep on with that uh, pink. Let's kind of use, use a little bit of it, so it's a little bit of mood. Right, we're not going to do too much. I'm not going to worry about going in there and adding all these small little details. I'm just going to put that, put that color back there, small little bit of a gradient, and that's going to be it. So, um, yeah, I think uh, we'll go ahead and we'll save, and uh, we'll stop it here. All right, uh, join me uh, for part two, and um, yeah, any questions or comments, just let me know. Uh, you can check out more of my coloring work on DeviantArt. It's lemage.deviantart.com. And um, thanks a lot for watching. All right, bye.